A video making the rounds on social media showing a Parkland High School student attacking a teacher earlier this week in Winston-Salem has now caught the eyes of lawmakers. The Forsyth County Sheriff's Office has confirmed that student is facing several charges, including two for misdemeanor assault. Good evening. This is the Fox 8 6 o'clock news. I'm Neil McNeil. I'm Katie Nordine. Fox 8's Elijah Skipper is live outside of Parkland High School in Winston-Salem. So Elijah, how are lawmakers reacting? Lawmakers I spoke with today say that this kind of behavior is unacceptable, but unfortunately all too common. The State Board of Education presents data to the General Assembly every year that tracks the number of assaults happening in the classroom. The video is a great example of us failing our teachers and us failing our students. Lawmakers who've seen the video say it's a concern they've long had. Does it get more shocking? The answer is no. It gets less shocking because we are becoming desensitized to violence in schools. So my immediate reaction was, that's, that's terrible. That kind of behavior is obviously not condoned. The nearly 40-second clip circulating online shows a Parkland student walking up to his teacher, cussing and yelling, and then slapping her in the face, not once, but twice. Teachers are having a hard time now. Working conditions are terrible, pay is terrible. Um, and, and so, I'm, you know, we don't, we don't need to add insult to injury to our already hard job. You know, it's no wonder we have teachers leaving the profession in this state in droves. Last school year, assault on school personnel was the third most frequently campus crime reported across the state. There were 1,482 reports of an assault on school personnel in the 2022-2023 school year statewide up nearly 8% from the prior year. The General Assembly gets the data, they sit on the data and do nothing. So, you know, I, I at times question why are we even going through the process of the collecting the data if we don't actually want to try to address the problem. Last school year, Guilford County Schools had 64 reports of an assault on school personnel. Winston-Salem Forsyth County Schools had 46 and Rockingham County Schools 41. State lawmakers say it's just too many. Not in a classroom setting and not in any setting. I mean, but unfortunately, all across this country today, that's what we see. People are resorting to violence. And now they're looking outside the box for solutions. Approaching it at, at a younger age with the proper resources at the school would be a huge, a huge step forward. And maybe adequately funding some of these anti-poverty programs because... That's a big piece of it, too. If you um, don't have a good life at home, it, it doesn't translate to a, you know good behavior at school. We asked the district when that student's disciplinary hearing might be taking a place. They said they couldn't comment. It also remains unclear if that student has returned to campus. The district once again said they couldn't comment. In Forsyth County, Elijah Skipper, Fox 8 News. All right, Elijah, thank you.